Big event with Atomic Revolutionary Wrestling at Gang Girls Wrestling Asylum. Tell us about the history and meeting Wes Briscoe, your tag team partner and ARW tag team champion. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, uh, you know, Briscoe and I both come from, you know, second generation. Him, much, you know, his dad uh, was way um, more in the, in the physical wrestling part of it, obviously, than, than my father was. My father's at a different side of the wrestling business. Uh, but we share that, you know, that we share that. We have that in common. You know, our, both our dads and kind of growing up around the business and seeing it, smelling it, and touching it and feeling it from a young age. Um, the first time we actually hung out and met, you know, would have been at TNA. Um, he'd come up there a few times and, and was, uh, we'd had a few of the shows. And then they were going, that was back when TNA was doing the gut checks. Uh, he came in to do a, they were bring him in to do a, a gut check for a chance to, for a chance to win a contract with Impact. And um, I was his gut check partner, or uh, opponent. So he and I went out there and, and uh, blew each other up and ran till we couldn't run anymore and just gave gave her hell. And, um, he ended up uh, he ended up ended up getting the deal and and the rest is kind of history from there. We we worked together um, a few times uh, as baby faces on Impact and then the Aces and Eights came about and he and I were recruited for uh, for that. I want to talk about Aces and Eights because that was such a cool faction and a cool time. But I want to ask you this about Wes. Did you take a hiatus from wrestling and was teaming with Wes one of the lures to get you back into wrestling? Yes, and yes. Um, I, I took a pretty long hiatus from it. Um, I think it was probably close to three and a half, four years from uh, the time last time I stepped in a ring. Um, I just got focused on life, you know, my, uh, my wife and I bought a house and we're remodeling that. I had a, a really, really good job at the, you know, that I was you know, focused on. And, um, so I, it just kind of, life, it just kind of started taking me in a different direction. Um, I hadn't, hadn't really even thought about doing much wrestling. Every time, I, every once in a while I get, I get, I got asked to do something. I just kind of said, no, no, thank you. Um, and then one day, probably, I don't know, almost a year ago, maybe, maybe not quite that long ago, I was up in Orlando, uh, my dad, uh, I live in Tampa, Clearwater, um, and my dad had a autograph signing that he was coming into town for up in Orlando, so I was like, I'm going to come up there to Orlando and say hi and hang out, have a beer with dad, and do that, and so I get there, and uh, Ed Briscoe was there, Jesse Neal was there, and a couple, you know, a couple of guys that I knew from, you know, from, from the years, and we were all just kind of hanging out and talking, and um, you know, they told me about this, about the, hey, you ever met this, you know, this guy, Alex Red? I said, no, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to. I said, well, you know, he runs Atomic Revolutionary Wrestling. But it's always good times, always good shows. You should maybe think about it. I'm like, eh, no, well, maybe, but probably not, but I appreciate it. And then Briscoe pulled me aside. He's like, well, dude, come on, we can come up there and get back in the ring together. He kind of... He kind of he got me hyped up about it, got me excited about it. So I was like, "Tell you what, I'll, I'll let me let me call the guy and, and talk to him, and we'll see." And uh, I called him. It was about a ten minute conversation, and I agreed to do a show or two. You kind of see how it went, and here we are. I think this is probably I've been doing it for six months or so now with him. About once a month or so, I've kind of been back into it with him. So, but I'm having a ball. You know, it's a lot of fun. I'm happy to be back in there. It's, uh, it's good to be back in the ring. It's good to be back in there with West. Are you a different Garrick Bischoff wrestler from when you were going through the early stages and then into Impact to what you are now? Uh, I mean, I would I would think so. Um, you know, I've, there's been a lot of years between then and now. Uh, you know, things you know, over the years you change. 
you grow and your, your mentality changes and the way you look at things changes. Um, it's not the same pressure uh, now that it was then. Um, so that, that changes the way, you know, the way you move and the way you do things and the way you think when you're out there. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm obviously, I don't, uh, I don't, I stay away from the crazier stuff. Um, just cause I'm, I'm, I'm not in this, I'm not in the same kind of training shape that I was once. So uh, just, uh, phys- physically wise, you know, phys- physicality wise, I definitely, uh, I, I try to, try to keep myself a little bit safe. Yeah, just because I'm not in the same kind of shape that I used to be, but 